Hey, if you're a copywriter, do you use a swipe file? Like, do you look at other people's ads and uh, try to get inspiration or even copy what they're doing uh, in, in order to write better, more effective ads yourself? So I, I, I wanted to make this, I, I guess, first off, I just want to tell a story. So this was a few years back. I was working as the interim copy chief at, a, at one of the bigger financial publishers, and I had the task of hiring a bunch of new copywriters. And um, I, I put out a call for spec work at that point, and I asked a bunch of copywriters to submit work, and I had to review it, and I had to decide who we were going to hire to, to do a couple projects. And I, I was reading them, and some of them were great, some of them were bad. One of them just jumped out at me as like, oh, this guy is using a lot of really strong and like powerful language and like segments of his copy were pretty, pretty good, but uh, it didn't quite fit together. And it was pretty confusing um, in terms of like, it wasn't even talking to the current market conditions, right? Um, and so that it was weird to me as, as a copywriter and some of it even sounded a little bit familiar. And so I started Googling and looking through my files of old ads for um, for some of the pieces of, of copy. And what I found was like three big name copywriters promotions where the guy lifted just a chunk of copy here, a chunk of copy here, a chunk of copy here. And uh, I called him out on it and he flipped out on me. Number one, he, he basically started yelling at me saying, listen, this is what all great copywriters do. You don't know. This is how great copywriters write copy. And, um, <laughs> And then when I told him, no, that's actually not how great copywriters write copy. Great copywriters may be inspired by other people's ads, but they don't copy it wholesale. They don't just like copy and paste other people's. And besides, your copy doesn't even make sense when you do it that way. Then he flipped out and called the customer service for my client who I was on retainer with and called the customer service and it got to the partners in the business and like controversy, right? Because this guy is calling in saying that like, I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible copywriter. I don't even know. I don't understand marketing. Calling customer service to do this, like crazy, right? Uh, and then, and then uh, <laughs> my, my like direct report guy, my, my supervisor guy that I talked to, he's like, Roy, what happened here? And I showed him and he's like, oh no, that, that guy, no. Um, so we basically blacklisted the guy. We blacklisted the copywriter because you can't just use other people's copy like that. It doesn't work that way. It's not effective and it's copyright infringement. Like uh, even advertising is, is, uh, has copyright protection. Um, and, and so if you're using a swipe file, like I don't necessarily have anything against swipe files. In fact, when I was getting started as a copywriter, I took all these three by five note cards and wrote a whole bunch of headline formulas and ideas for like how to write effective copy um, and, and, and like the structure and the wording and all of that that go into good headlines and bullets, right? And I've used that stuff, like, I, and I've internalized it. This has been sitting in the bottom of a drawer for a while, but I've internalized all that stuff. And also I wanna show you something else here. This is one of my favorite pieces of of, um, of examples for, for copy. Now, a lot of people are familiar with this ad. This is an old John Caples ad. They laughed when I sat down at the piano, but when I started to play. Now, this was like a John Caples staple that he actually flipped this around and he said, they grinned when the waiter spoke to me in French, but their laughter changed to amazement at my reply. So he used this over and over again and other copywriters have used similar things over and over again. The The idea is that he says, okay, this like embarrassing, potentially embarrassing situation was happening where, where um, people were doubting me and then I proved my doubters wrong. And he tells the story, people were doubting me and then I proved them wrong. And it's the story that he repeats over and over in ads. And there's there's like nothing wrong with understanding those, those frameworks and those idea types and like capturing them and capturing the psychology behind something. But then when you, you try to copy it wholesale or uh, uh, try to use the, the, the words without really understanding the meaning underneath, it's like, it's just super dumb. And your copy is not going to work nearly as well as the original because you're not putting the thinking into it. You're not understanding the psychology of what was going on and applying it to your situation. The other thing is like, if you don't get the deep structure right, if you're focused on all these superficial details, like they laughed when I uh, wording like that, like if you don't get the deep structure right, 
you're never going to write effective copy beyond like a line or two and just like catch slogan copy that that level. Um, but in terms of like a full persuasive message, you'll never be effective because full persuasive messages are much more about the deep structure of persuasive communication. Now, this is stuff that like I teach in in my high velocity copywriting course, and I'll include a link with this video. But uh, if you understand those things, if you understand, um, if you understand the deep structure of effective advertising, of effective persuasive messages, then you don't have to rely on borrowing turns of phrases and all of that. Although you can, right? You can you can borrow small phrases. Just this last last week, and I was writing something, and I thought this is a perfect place. Like I I remembered a a, a sentence from a Gary Bensavenga ad that just jumped out at me. I was like, okay. This fits right here and it fits right here. And it's not, it's like a really short, like side comment type sentence. It's not integral to the big full ad message. I'm still responsible on the deep structure basis. Um, so, so like you, you have to think about this in terms of if I'm swiping, am I swiping just the words? Am I using the same underlying psychology and deep structure and maybe borrowing some words or phrases here and there? Or like, what am I doing with that? And the effective way to use a swipe file is to say, okay, what was the copywriter doing here? What's going on below the surface? And how can I apply that in terms of, of um, using the same underlying principles without just stealing language, right? So if, if you're gonna use a swipe file, like, I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? Do you disagree with me? Do you do you, do you love this idea? Do you hate this idea? I, I think that like, even even like Dan Kennedy, who, who has taught, a, ton about swiping copy even when he swipes copy he's he at most he's borrowing stuff that he already wrote but for the most part he's still doing this like underlying psychology thing but maybe bringing in some words here and there he's not telling you just like oh just copy what i wrote for this dentist for this chiropractor uh because it's like it it doesn't quite work that way it's it's copy the the point that i was getting across here over here and it actually makes your copy a lot faster. Like that's that's the premise of my high velocity copywriting course is once you understand like the underlying stuff, it makes writing great copy much faster. Um, and 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 so when you think about swiping, think about borrowing the underlying principles, the underlying structure, the underlying strategy, um, and then applying it using new messaging, using new words, re rewriting it every time, but writing it a lot faster because you know exactly what you need to say to be effective in your persuasive communications. So my name is Roy Fur. This has been a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I would love it if you check out my high velocity copywriting program. It's the link is in the description. It's an incredible deal to to get access to it. Um, if if you like this video, be sure that you like it. Comment with any takeaways. Do you agree? Do you hate my advice on swipe files? Do you think you should you should use swipe files all the time and just steal everybody's language? What do you think? And you can also share it, like a tag a friend or whatever. Um, in terms of if you think other people would find it valuable. Valuable. And if you're not yet subscribed here, subscribe here. If you're not yet subscribed to Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com and, and you'll get my Monday through Friday emails that uh, share videos and articles about marketing, copywriting, selling, business building, and more. Um, I'm on a mission to help 50,000 marketer entrepreneurs live happier, healthier, more prosperous, and impactful lives through more effective marketing. And I'd love to have you join me. Join me here. Join me at BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com and join me by learning these principles of effective direct response copywriting through high velocity copywriting. Again, all the links are in the description. I look forward to seeing you again in my next video issue. I'll see you soon. Bye.